In the springtime, when the winds blow persistently onshore, beaches can be covered by thousands or even millions of blue jellyfish relatives called Valella Valella, the by the wind sailors. Of course, lying face down on the beach the way we find them is not their natural habitat. Valella typically live on the surface of the open ocean far from shore, propelled by winds pushing on their tiny sails. It's a remote and lonely existence, except for the millions of others drifting alongside. In 2014, reports of Valella on jellywatch.org ranged to 150 kilometers offshore along 2,000 kilometers of coastline, a potential habitat of 300 billion square meters. Valella is a member of the group of animals called hydrozoans. These are a subset of cnidarians, stinging animals that include corals, sea anemones, and normal jellyfish. Although Valella itself is not a siphonophore, the hydrozoans do include the siphonophore known as the Portuguese man o' war, which also drifts along the surface. More typical hydrozoans are the hydromedusae and hydroids, the polyp like form that gives this group its name. Hydroids grow as little tubes of cells attached to rocks, seaweed, and other surfaces. They bud off many feeding structures and also produce reproductive bodies, which can pop out tiny medusae. Transparent and intricate, these hydromedusae are the male and female parts of the life cycle of many hydrozoans, and the larvae they produce will settle to make more hydroids. In the open ocean and deep sea, where there are few surfaces, animals are resourceful and opportunistic. Some species of hydromedusae can skip the hydroid stage and develop baby medusae directly within their bell. Others have a hydroid that lives on drifting organisms, even the shells of snails or the backs of deep sea shrimp. Valella is related to a subgroup whose hydroid has one main mouth surrounded by tentacles and medusa producing structures. Because it lives in the open sea, Valella attaches to the most widespread surface available, the surface of the water. It creates a rigid float and sail and the hydroid parts stick down into the water below. Valella is, in effect, a benthic organism living in an inverted world, and each floating raft produces thousands of tiny pulsing medusae, which begin life less than two millimeters long. These mature to become the sexually reproductive part of the life cycle. So Valella really is a pulsing jellyfish, just not when you find it washed up on the beach. Although the real estate is cheap, living on the surface of the ocean has its own set of challenges. The sun bombards the animal throughout the day, so Valella uses blue pigments to screen itself from the radiation. It also makes use of the sunshine thanks to symbiotic algal cells that can harvest the plentiful solar energy. On land, plants shed excess light energy as red fluorescence, re-emitting the blue photons as energy-reduced red ones. Biologists use this fluorescence as an indicator of the presence of chlorophyll. When we shine blue light on Valella and its baby Medusae, the algal symbionts are revealed. The sugars they produce during photosynthesis can help provide nourishment to Valella, both the hydroid and the medusa, in the low productivity regions of the open ocean. There's a scene in one of those pirate movies where the ship tips over so it's underwater, and your perspective changes so it appears to sail across the surface of the sky. This is basically how the hydroid form of Valella spends its life. So the next time you're lying on your back looking up at the stars, take on Valella's point of view. Imagine you're suspended, clinging to the surface of the earth and looking down on the infinite void of the night sky below. Because you are. This is Steve Haddock of the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute. For more information on Valella and to report your own sightings, go to jellywatch.org.